Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session we are going to see one more example in Omron PLC. So without any further delay, we'll enter into the example. So draw the program for blinking of circuit, I mean blinking of light, one second on and one second off. So this is the perfect example for to understand the importance and the working future of timers. Okay, so obviously to make the output on and off continuously, you, need, you are in need of a timer. So how we can tell that we have to use the timer means one second on and one second off. How we are going to calculate that one second and that depends upon the timer. Okay, so that's what we are going to do and uh, let's move on to the software and see how to do this blinking circuit okay so initially i want to have one control okay whenever you are turning on that time only your circuit have to start so for that you are in need of one input no so let's make that input first so i'm going to name that as 0, 0.00 and i'm giving start start input or start stop start stop switch okay and uh, what else we want we want one output correct that will be our light so one input and one output all right so yes i have one input and one output so whenever i'm turning on this input this light have to be on for one second and off for another second and this cycle have to continue until I make this to off condition. Alright. Fine. So now what is the condition we have to write? What is the logic we have to write? So what I am going to do whenever I am turning on this uh, you know uh, this input. No, I am going to turn on one timer also. So I am taking one timer. And this is our on delay timer. So TIM and I am naming the timer as uh, 0 and I am giving the time delay as 1 second. So 1 second means what I have to give here? It is 10. Okay. So hash 10 means it is 1 second. So I am giving OK. Alright. So it is connected now. So whenever you are turning on your uh, input, no, that time you are Timer will also start counting. Just a minute. Yeah. Now the timer is getting start. Correct. Initially your output is on. See whenever you are turning on this output will be on. No. So after one second I have to turn off this. But after one second how you will take a calculation. For that only we are using this timer. See this TIM if you have seen our uh, previous sessions we have we have the you know video for uh, this timer TIM on delay timer okay. So what it will do whenever you are turning on after one second the timer output will get turned on correct. So what I am going to do by using that output I am going to turn off my input okay. So by using that out output I am going to turn off my input. So what I am going to do is, I am going to have one more uh, you know, network here. Let us take and I am giving the timer address. This is my timer now, T0, T0. I am going to get help from one memory coil. Memory bit. So by using this memory bit, I am going to turn off my output so after one seconds this memory input will be turning on no this memory output using that i'm going to turn off my light so to turn off that light we have to what we have to do we have to break the contact so that's why i'm going to use normally closed contact here so give 10.0 all right so after one second my output is going off correct so what we have to do again 
after one second of that again my output have to be in on condition so for that i am going to get help from one more timer tim because we have to calculate that one on and one off no so for one timer it's one uh, uh, you know one second for another timer is for another one second okay so i'm going to this uh, name this timer as one and uh, for same thing i'm going to give a time delay as you know 10 i mean one second okay so by using this timer i'm going to reset this condition so what is the purpose of resetting means it will restart the process i'm going to give the timer here okay so why i have given here is it will restart the timer again so once you restart the timer what will happen this fellow will go off if this fellow go off the light will again turn on so one second on and one second off okay so let's cut this i'm going to do the simulation okay so let's turn on my start input yeah can you see just watch this one second on one second off one second on one second off so this is what our requirement is right so with this simple example we can understand the working of timer correct so two timers one to turn on one to turn off So, with this we have taken the help from the memory bit. With the help of that we have turned on this. Without that memory bit also we can able to do. We can directly put this uh, you know timer address over here. This is just a supporting bit only. See, you can put this over here. Instead of memory bit you can put the timer address directly. Okay. So, I hope you have understand this blinking of circuit. Just try this. Like these examples and videos, kindly like and subscribe our channel for updates and videos. So, I will meet you in the another session with another example. Until then, thank you.